receiver is when a soul is promised and not delivered. Episode of Saturday Night Horror. Now tonight we're going to be watching a movie I've never seen before. So I'm always excited about watching new movies. So it's going to be a whole brand new experience for me. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Tonight we're going to be watching Pentagram. Now Pentagram came out last year. And the basic plot of the movie is a group of people find themselves you know, stuck inside of a pentagram. Now they can't get out. If you leave the pentagram, some kind of vengeful demon will show up and murder you. The only way to get out of the pentagram safely is to sacrifice one person that's stuck in there. So, uh, interesting concept. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it plays out. Cooking wise, um, <laughs> it was an absolute disaster. Uh, actually tried cooking earlier. You know, I started the keto diet Monday, so we have to use keto recipes and things like that. Recipe we tried was. Uh, wild mushroom rice or some kind of mushroom rice but without actually any rice in it which should have been an indication that it was really going to suck anyway never finished making it uh, it looked like someone took a huge dump in the cooking pan I mean I kid you not it looks like someone literally squatted over the pan and had a huge case of the Hershey squirt so it did not look good there was no way I was putting that in my mouth so cooking is not going to be on this week's. It will be on next week's episode, even if I have to do so, something super simple like I did last week, mixing some meat and salsa together. In some form, some way, cooking will be back next week because uh, apparently a lot of y'all like the cooking pro portion of the show. I didn't realize how many people enjoyed it. So sorry about this week. Next week it will definitely be back. So with that being said, let's turn all the lights off. Let's go out front. Let's watch Pentagram. All right, everyone, we're out in the front room. We'll turn this last lamp off. All right, all the lights in the house are off, and it is time to watch Pentagram. Like I said, haven't seen this one before, so excited about taking a look at it here. I think it's going to be a good night. All right, and Shadow has gotten in my lap. Uh, looks like she's going to sleep. Uh, the way this movie is going, I don't blame her either. So, uh, yeah. Good night, Shadow. Oh boy. Alright, well, Pentagram is over, and that was one of the most boring movies I've watched in quite a while. Now, the concept did sound good, the people being trapped inside the Pentagram. Uh, looking good, sounding good on paper, looking good on paper, and looking good on film. Two totally different things. Uh, this failed in every way imaginable. And like I said, uh, there's a group of people that were trapped in. I don't even want to spoil anything in case there are people out there who want to watch it. But basically, they get trapped inside this pentagram. And as I said before, you can't get out safely unless you sacrifice someone inside the pentagram. Now, once they die, they have to die in the pentagram. Their blood has to spill inside. So uh, there was a scene where. One of the guys shot someone in the pentagram, but their dead body fell outside and it didn't count. So it was, uh, you'd think something like this would be interesting, but it's incredibly boring because for the movie's an hour and 20 minutes for about an hour and 10 minutes, they're inside the pentagram and it's just completely boring. Um, we have the stereotypical cast, we have the drug addict uh, junkie, we have her brother who's trying to look out for her. We've got the uh, guy that thinks he's the leader of the group who complains the entire time, offers no help at all, and is just really confrontational. Then you got the one girl that's bad but tries to go grow a conscience at the end of the movie. So 
stereotypical cast of characters uh, not a single one of them was likable I wouldn't mind seeing every single one of them just hold hands and you know step out of the pentagram together and meet their end uh, yeah like I said a very boring movie there was a uh, I wouldn't even call this a horror movie. It's, it's really misleading. The cover to the film or the film artwork has some kind of demon woman standing in front of a fiery pentagram. There's nothing like that. The the demon, if you can even call it that, um, you only see its head and its neck. You don't get a full shot of the demon. And then it's real kind of transparent. Like it's just, uh, it's obvious, it's green screen, spliced from some other film. It's horrible, man. Um, the demon shows up, then you see a uh, jagged blade and it cuts into your stomach. And that's it. The body disappears, demon disappears. Um, that's pretty much, that's the only gore in the movie except for someone getting shot. But <clears throat> yeah, after watching this, I wouldn't even count this as horror. This is uh, Saturday Night Boredom tonight. So yeah, the, um, very disappointing movie, very extremely boring movie. I found myself uh, almost falling asleep at certain parts. I found my eyes starting to close and I have to wake up. Uh, even Shadow, who sat on my lap during the movie, she usually lasts uh, quite a while during these movies before she falls asleep. She didn't last at all. She took one look at the screen, turned and looked at me, and then buried her head in her shoulders and went to sleep. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Seemed like a good concept, but the execution was horrible. The acting absolutely sucked. Uh, the special effects demon was absolutely horrible. This does, this didn't even feel like an actual movie. It felt like some kind of school project or you know a couple friends getting together over the weekend and messing around with their brand new camera. That's what it felt like. Uh, which is a shame because the actual concept of being trapped in the pentagram and not being able to get out you know, unless you sacrifice one of your friends to get out. It's a good concept, and I think it would work better if a real studio got their hands on it and some half-decent actors and actresses. But I have to say, this is this was so incredibly boring. Um, huge, huge disappointment. Uh, we gotta do, we gotta, uh, we gotta do better next week. Good Lord. But yeah, this movie, um, I would personally would not recommend it unless you're uh, fighting a severe case of insomnia and you want something to put you to sleep. Pentagram will do that for you. It's just... The only word that comes to mind is boring. It was nothing redeeming about it. Nothing that would make me ever want to go back and watch this ever again. Um, matter of fact, it's, it's done. This is the last night I'll ever talk about Pentagram again. So overall, very boring movie, very disappointing movie, horrible acting, uh, horrible special effects demon. Just overall disappointing. Such a good idea and just did not come out at all. At the beginning of the video we talked about the Hershey Squirts. That perfectly describes this movie. It was a boring bout of the Hershey Squirts and I, I can't recommend anyone seeing it at all. Like I said, unless you're trying to take a nap or go to sleep. So that being said, that is going to do it for this week's episode. Next week, Cooking will be back. We're about to reveal the movie for next week. Hopefully, it is much better than Panagram. Uh, still, nothing will be as bad as Secret Santa. That is That holds a top spot. Panagram really made a push for it, but... Man, such a disappointing night. So, hopefully next week will be better. So, with that being said, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I wish I could say I did, but... I did not. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. I hope you all have an awesome week. Y'all take care, and I'll see you on the next video.